test. All right, yeah. My test. Yeah. 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 yeah.
has been afforded to me to read the eulogy of this great ambassador in one Karen Joseph. I stand to you today to give a biography of the life of Karen Joseph. He was born on April 26, 1985 to parents Sandra Joseph Bikwai. He dwelt in the village of Blanchichez, sent toward Blanchichez, together, together with two, two siblings, siblings Kessler, Kessler and Kulan Joseph, Joseph, in the, the one fire village of Blanchichez. Here are the challenges arose and his great aunt, Tanya Tora, now deceased, opened her home to Karen and his two brothers, Kerlan, Kester, and their mom, Sandra. Karen went on to become one of the well-rounded individuals in Blanchichez. In addition to learning, in addition to learning the skills of construction from his father, he was a jack of all trades. Karen's life was well multifaceted. He worked at the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Services, yet found time to start a construction company with his brothers, whom he loved dearly. He also found time to start a fish business with his niece, Serafina, and worked day and night on his home. Karen never rested. Karen was always at it. Karen's team was, I will find rest when I die. The values instilled from his mother provided him to be a respectful, ambitious, kind-hearted, loving, helpful, generous young man. And I'm sure many can bear to what I am saying today. Karen was very confident. And you could tell by the way he walked, by the way he talked. Very straightforward person. He was not afraid to question any authority to get his answers and always looked for a better way to do something. He said, work smart, not hard. Karen was always, Karen would always take pride in the way he dressed. He was clean and neat. Going to school, people would ask him, why who iron that school uniform for you? And he would and he would answer, I. I ironed my school uniform. His hair was always neat, well groomed and trimmed by his barber, Mr. Loney. You would never find him untidy. Not even when he worked at the construction site. Yes. He would even put on cologne to go on the construction site. He was taken away while on his work, while working on his home. His intention was to make it livable for his mom to move in by Christmas. His last words to his mom was, Mommy, I am going 
to finish this home to make sure you're comfortable by next year. He had great plans for his family. He wanted to get married to the one he boasted most about, Miss Fallon. He loved Fallon dearly and he wanted to make his life with Fallon. When he, he said, when I'm completed, when I'm, I'm completed with my home, I'm going to marry Fallon. His heart's desire was to, was to be there to see his daughter, Katie, pursue her dreams and, in, and her career and grow up into a respectable adult and one day to have her own family. He wanted the best for Katie. He also longed to build a relationship with his other daughter, Chloe, who did not grow up with him, but he loved her dearly. He was even building a greater bond with his older brother, Elliot, who did not grow up with him as well. His heart's desire was to unite his family in love, a love that cannot be broken. He assisted in organizing a family day with all the generations of Tata last year and hoped that from that, from that family day onwards, it would be something annually. He, had, he even had plans of attending the family day of the Sugre family that was to take place tomorrow. This is not the end. Karen would want it to continue continue holding the family or the families together. In all, Kiron was a visionary brother today. He had loved his community and had a vision to make it a better place. He served as one of the youngest village council presidents in the village of Blanchichers. He also served on the early childhood care center school at Blanchichers. Recently, he was involved in putting together a sports day with all the villages of the North Coast. He looked forward to that sports day, and it would have been one of the first of many to come. He wanted to see the communities grow with love, peace, and unity. He hated what was going on in the community and hoped that he would bring something brighter and greater in the village of Blanchichers and by extension, the North Coast. Kiran loved the life. He was working hard to create a better future for himself and his family. He will live in each and everyone's heart today whom he has come into contact with. May we never forget, forget the laughs, the good memories that we had with him. Never forget that. If he was here, he would have said, don't weep for me, for I will always be with you. Reading from the book of Hebrews 13, 20 to verse, and verse 21, it says, Now the God of peace that brought again from the dead, our Lord Jesus Christ, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you, which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom all glory and honor be forever and evermore. For the Lord said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And into what you would have gotten a snapshot of care. I bring you greetings from uh, the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service. I acknowledge in our presence, Deputy Chief Fire Officer Andy Hutchinson, 
the Chief Fire Officer Arnold Bristow still on his way. All the other officers of the fire service, Father Asing, parish priest, mother, wife, family of our beloved. A blessed and most wonderful afternoon to you. And you may say, why blessed and wonderful? Because we recognize in everything the word of God says, give God thanks. Somebody say amen. And I would have encouraged the family when I visited in the midst of this pain. This pain, we know it linger for a long time. It's lingering. It's, it's with us in the fire service. We have officers unable to, to function as they ought to. So, as the effect that the passing, timely as it is, gone so soon as it is, has had on us as the fire service family. As a fire service, we want to just present our tribute. One, a member of his batch, number 44. To eight, a firefighter Leandre will come and share a snapshot from uh, his induction and carry on the firefighter. Uh, and then uh, a member of the fire service band, uh, firefighter, sorry, acted fire sub officer Asun uh, will uh, render in song uh, our tribute uh, so that as long as you would remember, remember that us as a fire service family, we, we love you, just as we have loved carry on, and we with uh, be forever him and you would forever be in our hearts. God bless you as I invite firefighter Leandre. A pleasant good morning to the family, friends, and colleagues of Karen Joseph. A special greetings to the members of the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service this division. Today, our family has become smaller. Because today, we celebrate the life of number 4410 Firefighter Joseph. Firefighter Karen Joseph was enlisted in the Trinidad and Tobago Fire Service on June 15, 2013 at the Roxborough Fire Station among a batch of 61 persons. Firefighter Joseph has served the last 10 years serving in the Tobago Division and Northern Division at the Crown Point, Santa Cruz, and Sour Fire Stations. Karen was our colleague, our friend, our brother, a man of humility and dedication, especially to his family. He was a committed team player, whether it was firefighting, playing football, or even playing all fours, when we needed him on our team. His untimely passing has left us with emptiness. Honestly, it is always good to see Karen to know his accomplishments and to celebrate the moments that we share together. So today, we say farewell to you, Karen, and our condolences and prayers be with his family. May the good Lord give us comfort as we remember you forever in our hearts.
Thompson, I also carry dual portfolio as the chaplain of the fire service. We say to Fallon, to Mom Sandra, and all the other siblings and cousins and children, on behalf of the chief fire officer, the executive of the fire service, the brotherhood of Trinidad that makes up the Trinidad and Tobago fire service, we salute you. And we extend our deepest love, sincerest condolences in this time of your passing. We want you to know that long after today's ceremony and homegoing service is over, we will be there with you. God bless you. Good morning, everyone. I mean, afternoon. My name is colleague Joseph. A tribute to Uncle Karen. A fine man stands taller than most. He is a warrior. It is said that when a man becomes a fireman, he has accomplished his greatest act of bravery. It is a noble calling. He is a fireman day and night. His proudest moment is to save a life. And when from this world a fireman is taken, his presence is never really gone. For his selfless bravery lives on forever in the hearts and memories of those he saved. Uncle Karen was a wonderful uncle to us. He sometimes picked us up from school when he could. When he wasn't so busy, he carried us for a drive in his truck or to the shop to buy whatever we wanted. Sometimes when he needed an extra hand to pack things away, he would treat us obey my sister and I. We felt like rich people when he did that. So take your place, Uncle Karen. A place of honor, Uncle Karen, and know you will be remembered by us and many. You were a hero in duty and in life. Always willing to help others. Help others, but of all, you were a hero to both. And I, as a future, as a firefighter, would aim up to Though your flames of life has gone out, our love for you will never go out. Thank you for being our uncle. From future firefighters, Kitchen and colleague love you. Praise God.
first time you laughed with me and I remember the promises you will never leave my side and now I'm standing with the news of a tragedy standing here with a fragile heart mm -hmm. see I never shed a tear stay strong for them oh yes I did when anybody disappears it's only you who keeps me strong And I, I can't imagine going on Without you in my life Going on with a fragile heart See when I think about, think about life Lord, I think of you I forget about everything else There's only you and I And I can't think about ever giving up Can't give up the fight For the only thing that matters, Lord, is you I got no time to pretend that I'm not missing you No, 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 no I know you're in good hands The same hand that holds my heart And I we've spent As a gift from God above For he takes care of all Fragile hearts See when I think about, think about life Lord, I think of you, and I forget about everything else. There's only you and I, and I can't think about ever giving up, can't give up the fight, for the only thing that matters, Lord, is you. trouble comes and my heart's burden be and I am still and waiting in the silence until you come and sit a while with me you
Let's all stand, please. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Lord of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. In the waters of baptism, hell and dark with Christ, and those of them to be life, may we now share with Him eternal glory. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. With the blessed and the sick, with the poor and the weak, let us go to God's house. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. Come and run with the wind and the God who reigns in peace. Let us go to God's house, we go celebrate. We go celebrate. We go celebrate. Oh Israel, praise the name of the Lord on high, praise His name in song, praise the Lord with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, praise the Lord. Enter into Jerusalem, make we walk down there With the young and the old, with the little and the large, make we walk down there Enter into Jerusalem, make we walk down there Swing to the breeze with the God who reigns in peace, make we walk down there We go celebrate, we go celebrate, we go celebrate O oh, Israel, praise the name of the Lord on high, praise his name in song, praise the Lord with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, praise the Lord. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. With your papa and your mama, with your uncle and your aunt, let us go to God's house. Enter into Jerusalem, let us go to God's house. Come and run with the wind and the God who is in peace. Let us go to God's house. Then you go celebrate. We go celebrate. We go celebrate. Oh Israel. Praise the name of the Lord on high. Praise his name in song. Praise the Lord with a heavenly song. With a heavenly song, with a heavenly song, praise the Lord. Permit me, my brothers and sisters, to be very emotional because this is an emotional experience for everyone that is not a nice thing unexpected certainly deserving not accommodating we refuse to accommodate murders So, my dear brothers and sisters, we have come together to renew our trust in Christ, who, by dying on the cross, has freed all of us from eternal death, and by rising has opened for us the gates of heaven. Let us now pray for our brother Karen, that he may share in Christ's victory. But let us also pray for ourselves that the Lord may grant us all the gift of his loving consolation. Invite us now to let's bow our heads in silent prayer.
eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and all his souls that have faithfully parted to the mercy of God rest in peace. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son who died on the cross has, was raised from the dead, the first fruits who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Karen, who has gone to his rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. This we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated. We now have the readings. The Lord's my shepherd, I'll not want. He makes me down to lie. In pastures green, he leads me beside the wall. Thank you. 
reading from 2 Corinthians chapter 15, 51 to 57. I will let I will tell you something that has been secret that we are not all going to die, but we shall all be changed. This will be instantaneously in the twinkling of an eye when the last trumpet sounds it will sound and the dead will be raised imperishable and we shall change as well because our present perishable nature must put on imperishability and his mortal nature must put on immortality when this perishable nature has put on imperishability and when this mortal nature has put on immortality then the words of scripture will come true death will swallow up in victory death where is your death where is your victory death where is your sting now the sting of death is sin and sin gets its power from the law so let us thank God for giving us the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, for revealing the mysteries of the kingdom to mere children. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing, Sing Alleluia to the to Lord. Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. you and with your spirit the reading from the holy gospel according to matthew glory to you o lord jesus exclaimed i bless you father lord of heaven and of earth for hiding these things from the learned and the clever and revealing them to mere children yes father that is what it pleased you to do everything has been entrusted to me by my father and no one knows the son except the father just as no one knows the father except the son and to those whom the son chooses to reveal him come to me all you who labor and are overburdened and i will give you rest shoulder my yoke and learn from me for i am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls Yes, my yoke is easy, my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please listen. I want to begin with Matthew's Gospel. It brings to mind exactly what these texts, the family have chosen to be read today. I want to begin with this because it relates to, to all the little tributes that were given and the poem that was read. 
So from Matthew's Gospel, and I want to give the exact quote from this particular translation, because there are several translations. Do not be afraid of those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, be afraid of the one who can destroy both soul and body. The soul of Karen was described today. And we understand that what we heard, it was not killed, it was not destroyed. Only his body. So it is quite reason not to be afraid because Jesus, these are Jesus' words. In Matthew's Gospel, do not be afraid of those who kill the body and cannot kill the soul. Not doesn't kill you, know, cannot, but cannot kill the soul. Certainly, death, which is, this is unexpected. It's not that he was lying on a hospital bed or in his bed in a home, suffering some illness over an extended period of time and being cared for. And the expectation of his death is certainly more so pending and more immediate. But this unexpected occurrence in his life and in our lives and lives of community, and it's still happening. It's still happening. We cannot answer to why in the way we may want to, to, to give stories the inadequate. The only adequate story is this. That there is a problem and the problem of two things. And we heard it in the reading, sin and death. Death to the body, death to the soul. Sin to the soul and sin that affects the body. So the problem of sin is exactly what this community has been experiencing and what this family, and this congregation, these people here, now you, us, we, together, are experiencing. You know, in the book of Revelation, No amount of consolation that you and I can give to the family members will wipe away the tears from their eyes. And in the book of Revelation, in the book of Revelation, that statement was made. The only one who can wipe away the tears from the eyes. God. God. You see, the death of a body is something, and we heard it from the officer in his tribute. His death brought emptiness. Emptiness. And that's his body. So the community is emptied now of his body, his physical presence. Empty. And it is not just a sad way of it being empty, because we all can be sad by anyone who's, who dies, even because of illness or accident. But this was not an accident. Problem of sin. It's real. And we have evidence of the problem of sin 
right before us. It's real. The emptiness or the empty community now, who the community is rather, who is emptied of this presence. And the fire service as well. But there are statements that were made about him that spoke and made reference to how he filled the life of the community and the public and the service, the fire service community. A little reference and a point of reference is the cologne that you will wear even to go to, to the construction site. Why? That makes reference to a fragrance of a presence. And a presence that must be experienced. So I would never, I would never conclude that the essence or the cologne, the sprays, whatever you wore, those times or whatever, is out of vanity. I wouldn't say that. I want to say that. We heard something else that relates to it. It's because he wants to be a little perfect and, you know, orderly in every respect. So the aroma of his life is remembered. Interesting. In a cologne, but not only that. Because, you know, a cologne, more so with women's perfume, before a woman reaches this place outside, you know she's coming because the perfume precedes her. But the man, you have to wait until it comes, and when he enters, then you know. And so it was with him. You know. And the aroma of his spirit is still with us. It cannot be killed. It cannot be killed. No one can kill it. We heard it. We heard it. We heard of the aroma, his spiritual aroma. Not only his physical aroma, This cologne, but this spiritual aroma. Paul says something about that. And he said in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 14. But thanks be to God, who always leads us as captives in Christ's triumphal procession and uses us to spread the aroma, the aroma of the knowledge of Him everywhere. Paul identified the aroma of love because he was influenced by God to know what the aroma of love is. And it goes like this. Love is always patient and kind. It is never jealous or boastful. He never boasted. It was never rude. It's ready to excuse, to trust, to hope, and to endure whatever comes. That's why he was able to, he was a kind of a workaholic. Huh? Just working, working, working. And he said he will only rest when he dies. And so, love endures. And that's the endurance of his love for those who he loved, close to him, 
those who he did not know and he still loved by what? By what? The fragrance or the aroma of patience, of kindness, of goodness, and of faithfulness. So that was not killed. And Jesus was correct. And we have evidence of it before us. And kill the body for another soul. Another soul. So the community is still filled not just with the memories, but with those who have experienced it, who have been at the service of it, of his patience, his kindness, and goodness, and faithfulness. And gentleness and what they received from him yes that is the nature of his help the fragrance certainly the fragrance of life but the fragrance of life that never grew weary never grew weary so the fragrance of his life will linger on will linger on many years from now statements will be made about him the fragrance will extend in time because his soul was not destroyed was not destroyed so, Jesus, when he said, come to me, all you who labor and are overburdened, and I will give you rest. Shoulder my yoke and learn from me. A yoke is still a burden. It's still a burden. But it's a lighter burden. His yoke is a lighter burden. And the lighter burden today is this. That he killed his body, but he didn't kill his soul. Jesus has always. And that's the yoke we are called to carry. And so our consolation is there in the aroma, the fragrance of his life, of his soul, in our community, in the fire service, and in the lives of those who we don't know, whom he met whom he encountered wherever he was, went, and had been, and met. Let's all stand. God, the Almighty Father, raise Christ, His Son, from the dead. With confidence, we ask Him now to save all His people, both the living and the dead. And for Karen, who in baptism has certainly given the pledge of eternal life, that he may now be admitted to the company of the saints. Lord, hear us. For our brother who ate the body of Christ, the bread of life, that he may be raised up on the last day. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all our deceased relatives and friends and for all those who have helped us, that they may have the reward of their goodness. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who have fallen asleep in the hope of rising again, that they may see God face to face. Lord, hear us. For you, the family and friends of our deceased brother Karen, that you may now be consoled in our grief by the Lord who himself wept at the death of his dear friend, Lazarus. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. For all who are assembled here to worship in faith that we may gather together again in God's kingdom. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Eat our rest, grant unto him, O Lord. And let your life shine upon may he rest in peace. 
his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. God, our shelter and our shield, he listen love to the cry of your people. Hear the prayers he offer for departed brother, cleanse him from his sins and grant him the fullness of redemption. He asks this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. We now have the collection taken up and uh, the following that the collection be taken up to support Katie in the music ministry. Yeah. What a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry, everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often fall. Oh, what needless pain we bear All because we do not carry Everything to God in prayer Have we trials and temptations Is there trouble anywhere we should never be discouraged. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Can we find a friend so faithful who will all our sorrow share? Jesus knows our every weakness. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Are we weak and heavy laden, cumbered with a load of care? Precious Savior, still our refuge, take it to the Lord in prayer. Do Thy friends forsake this party. Take it to the Lord in prayer. In his arms he'll take and shield thee. Thou wilt find us all this day. What a friend we have in Jesus. All our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. Oh, what peace we often forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. That's all stand. Let us now pray together in the words Jesus himself had taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. As we gather to commend our brother Charon to God our Father and to commit his brother to the earth, let us now express in song and pray our common faith in the resurrection as Jesus Christ himself was raised from the dead, we too are called to follow him through death to the glory where God will be all in all. Into your hands we commend our spirit, O Lord. Into your hands we commend our hearts for oh, we must die to ourselves in loving you into your hands we commend our love I will proclaim your name to all the world God of our fathers and our God too your name shall sound from every voice O oh Lord soon every heart will worship you into your hands we commend our spirit to oh Lord into your hands we commend our hearts for oh, we must die to ourselves in loving you into your hands we commend our love. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Karen in a show and certain hope that together with all those who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you have bestowed upon him in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise and help all of us who remain to comfort one another with the assurance of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with you and with our dearly beloved brother Karen forever. Amen. Because God has chosen to call our brother Karen from this life unto himself, we shall now commit his body to the earth, for deep is calling on deep, for we are dust, and unto dust we all shall return. I will proclaim your name to all the world, God of our fathers and a God too, your name shall sound from every voice, O oh Lord, soon every heart will worship you. Into your hands we commend our spirit, O oh Lord. Into your hands we commend our hearts, for oh, we must die to ourselves in loving you. 
into your hands. We commend our love into your hands. We commend our spirits, O oh Lord, into your hands. We commend our Into your hands we commend our love. I will proclaim your name to all the world, God of all fathers, and a good Your name shall sound from every voice, O oh Lord, soon every heart will worship you into your hand. We commend our spirit, O oh Lord. Into your hands we commend our hearts, for we must die to ourselves and loving you. Into your hands we commend our love. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Kulan Joseph. I am the brother of deceased Karen Joseph. And I just want to share a little word of encouragement to us here right now. Um, the passing of my brother being very hard, it being difficult. And sometimes you who are living life as a humble person, it plays with your emotions, give you mixed emotions. But Jesus Christ once mentioned, what does it profit if you only love those who love you? What does it profit if you only do good to those who do good to you? Even sinners do the same. Sometimes it's hard, especially for my mom. It's really difficult to see her crying on the floor. Just sometimes saying, you know, she, she wished that she was the one could have died if she was yet to help her son. But God is love. And he said to love one another. Sometimes I speak like this, but it's difficult to even love one another in these kind of circumstances. But we need to forgive. Because if we just continue fighting against ourselves, what example are we setting for the younger ones that are coming? When we are angry, sometimes we get emotional and seem to lash out at in any way. But God wants us to love one another and to be kind to each other. And the Bible tells us that Jesus Christ came to seek and to save that which was lost. And he said to us that we are all lost. For we are all born in sin and shape in iniquity. But when someone comes to die to self. And come to that point to recognize that they are in need of a savior. And they ask Jesus Christ to forgive them for their sins. He come into their heart. And he saved that person and he makes that person into a new creature. He become a new person. And the things that he wants find what's difficult to do to love God places love in you and calls you to love even when we are angry sometimes sometimes as parents we set example for our children by letting them see how we control our anger through our emotions and displaying it in a, in a, in a wrong way but sometimes we need to take time and think not just for now but think about the future if I act in such a way what good would this bring to my community? What example would I be setting to my family, to my children? 
It's hard to forgive sometimes, but God is able to give us the grace through His Son, Jesus Christ, who paid the penalty for us on the cross of Calvary. He could make each and every one here in a new person. Just even last night, it's hard killing in our community. And all those who are here, and to take a stand with me, to say enough is enough and bring a stop to this. It's enough because it continues to go on and on and on. Even in our community, it makes us very uncomfortable. Doors that used to be open at a certain hour, they are closed earlier. Children playing outside, no more play outside. And it's frightful. I ask in you, in prayer, in support, that we all stand together and do something about this. Let this be the last one. Please, love and do not grow hate. Do not allow hate to be in our hearts. Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ will change our mortal bodies to be like his in glory for he is risen the firstborn from the dead so let us now commend our brother Karen to the Lord that the Lord may embrace him in peace and raise up his body on the last day invite us now to let's bow our heads in silent prayer Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord. May he rest in peace. May his soul and all the souls of the faithful departed to the mercy of God rest in peace. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful. You are attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen their hope in your lasting goodness. This we ask through Jesus Christ, your Son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and lead you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. May the choirs of angels welcome you and lead you to the bosom of Abraham and when Lazarus is born no longer may you find eternal rest. I'm walking on my way to the Lord to my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm walking on my way to the Lord, to my Lord who's waiting there for me. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, to our Lord, who's waiting patiently. I'm clapping on my way to the Lord. To my Lord, 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 to my Lord house. I'm clapping on my way to the Lord. To my Lord, who's waiting there for me. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 go to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord, who's waiting patiently. I'm singing on my way to the Lord. 
to my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm singing on my way to the Lord, to my Lord who's waiting there for me. So let's all join and and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 go to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord who's waiting patiently. I'm walking on my way to the Lord. To my Lord, 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 to my Lord's house. I'm walking on my way to the Lord. To my Lord who's waiting there for me. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Yes, love our Lord, 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 go to our Lord's house. So let's all join hands and praise the Lord. Go to our Lord who's waiting patiently. Friends, Friends, we have come to the end of uh, this part of the home going. We still have another part at the cemetery in terms of the military rights. We, by request of the family, there would be a short viewing here before we make our way. We're asking you to cooperate and we just move from the end of the church, pass along and move out on both sides um, as, as quickly as we can. All right? So, so if you can come around through the side and we just make our way and head out you know i know you would like to stay long and and and, and we, today we are unable to do it please cooperate with us let's just do it in an orderly fashion and we leave the family for last family you can just stay everybody else make their way out quickly thank you
As you sit on inside, ready to move. Yes, give me two minutes.
Also die Bahn ist da. Ja.
Alright, nice. Helmet, boots, um, yeah. Why are you going to 
Auntie Sani, you need to come forward.
Karen passed up on the lead. Karen, pull on. Pull on, pass it from on the lead.
come to his yeah. final, his body, his final rest in peace. He'll be good in the church a while ago. Thank you. 